this game, I have to, I'm not going crack, I'm crack and slayer. They have a Kali Fiora. I feel like Renata is a bad pick into Tarek. I feel like Tarek alt, just like you revive someone and then they're in a Tarek alt so we can't get a kill and then it resets, no? That's how I feel like it would go in my head. AD Nico, by the way, is good in mid lane too into the right matchups like ad nico into cassadin super strong honestly i'd rather play wits end rush versus a kali mid if i was mid versus a kali i would int as ap but wits end rush into freaking shield bow probably a freaking vibe i feel like that's why nico's cool because i feel like to master nico and be good at nico you need to be able to be versatile in your builds be able to swap between ap ad for like solo lanes when i go support i'm able to swap between like appeal and gauge and uh tank build right in a bunch of runes i feel like she's so versatile with her builds and what she can do i feel like the difference between like really good nikos and like average ones are like the difference between knowing which build to take every game like last game where i went kraken slayer instead of shield bow because like i just knew i needed the damage why is uh, ADC Nico a thing over AP Nico? Because your W gives you on hit damage every third auto. So you can just build attack speed. It's not really AD Nico, it's attack speed. It's not the AD in the build that makes it good, it's the attack speed. So you can literally just get as much attack speed as possible to keep getting your empowered autos off. And then also on top of that, you have a speed boost on every third auto to kite. You have a stealth to kite. You have a root to peel and an ulti to peel that gives you a shield and stun. So you have tons of like self peel, tons of follow up. CC and then tons of damage on every third auto. Is an Nashir active same thing, but more damage on their spells? Um, nope. Because Nashir, there's not really that many good attack speed items to go AP with Nashirs. So you end up not getting that much attack speed. You can go an AP on hit build, but you end up not getting that much attack speed because Nashirs is the only AP attack speed item in the game. And if you end up getting more crit builds that like scale with like a critter build. The AP on hit was better before the item rework when Rage Blade gave an AP, and you could go Nashers, Rage Blade, Gun Blade. You know, every time I play Nico with Renata, it feels god awful. Because she just doesn't do much to, like, help me. Like, we're just getting poked out, and my Renata, it's not her fault. It's just, what does her champ do that helps me? Like, not much. Like, Karma's out here taking out half my HP per, like, ability. And you can say, oh, it's because you're playing Nico, but it's not. Like, there's so many ADCs, this would be the same thing. Renata and the Karma, like, what does Renata do? Unless I'm playing an ADC, you can just run at the enemy ADC and all in with her W. It's just not doing anything. Well, this lane turned into a good good lane for me now. Even in CS, up a plate. From being down 20 CS and down two plates to being even in CS and up a plate. Not bad, not bad. I feel like this kind of lane, I do not want to freeze. I want to always push because it feels like if you give control of the wave to Karma, it feels god awful. Feels like I need to perma be pushing and make sure that they get like can't walk up. Because if Ezreal and Karma can walk up past the wave, they just poke. But if they're pushed back while we have wave control, they cannot poke. Damn, killed Ezreal right before I died. Oh well. Because Renata revives me, right? So I was trying to die to the tower and then kill Ezreal from the death, but unfortunately I died before... Before I could actually revive. I sure hope an Akali doesn't show up out of nowhere and one-shot me. That would be really terrible, wouldn't it? That would surely not be good if an Akali just came out of nowhere and one-tapped me. Give it to Wu because I think he needs the health regen right now more than I do. Yeah. 
God, I love exhaust. That Akali just kills everyone if I don't have exhaust there. Straight up. Alrighty, I got my Rage Blade Spike. Thank you for the follow up. I got my Rage Blade Spike. I am strong. Now I just need to get that Zhonya's going so I don't get killed. But I am feeling strong right now. Three item Spike. Not a W, baby. Dude, by the way, that Zonya's made such a difference in the next bat fight. Um, I'm still thinking. I actually think this is a wit's end game. Because they do have a lot of arm. Actually, no. This guy's starting to get magic versus two. Wit's end's not good. We just get Bork. If they weren't stacking MR and they just had only armor. Because my team's pretty AD heavy. If they were just stacking MR or armor, then yeah. For sure. Uh, Nasher's tooth would be mathematically correct here. Actually, maybe anti-heal would be the best in hindsight. Now, I'm thinking anti-heal would probably be the best because it's kind of hard to kill through all their healing. We do have anti-heal on our support, though. Alrighty, let's go, baby. <laughs> Jeez! Woo, ADC is so fun, man.